Perhaps the biggest misconception about hair transplantation is that people will know you had it done. I think that's the biggest concern, and I think everybody rightly has that fear. I'm going to do something to myself that's going to permanently alter my appearance. I hope it looks good. I hope no one knows I've done it. It's not something that you know, people are going to advertise about themselves. They're going to feel good within themselves that they've done something to give themselves a more youthful appearance. The consultation was really clear, and I tend to be a talker. And you tend to be very pleasant about listening to me because you know you have your concerns about I me mean, this surgery but you think you know how bad is this going to be and, and everything he told me to expect is what happened so I felt really good about it. About 95 or more percent of people lose hair because of a phenomenon of androgenetic alopecia meaning androgen testosterone component and genetics, what you inherited from your mother, your father, and your grandparents. I didn't want to go shaving my head like everybody else because I just, I don't like the look. I mean, some people it works, but I got an odd looking head. I look more like a toe. So I said, no, I, you know, let me see about getting my hair done and actually having replaced and having hair that I can actually grow and wash and cut. The way the technique is done today is single follicles are transplanted one by one by one, so no one identifies that you've had a procedure. It can restore a much more youthful appearance. Studies have suggested that there's a 10 to 12 year differentiation uh, when you compare a person with significant hair loss versus someone who's restored their hairline. I got exactly what I asked for. I wanted to be 40 something <laughs> and, and not have a hairline, you know, of a young kid down around my eyebrows. I wanted a, a really nice, real looking hairline that uh, people wouldn't say, oh, did you get something done? The reason that hair transplant works is that the hairs in the back and the sides of the head don't have the ability to pick up the hormone that causes hair loss. So if these hair follicles don't have the receptors for that hormone, when we move them, they don't take on the receptors and they'll never fall out. There wasn't really any pain involved. Uh, you, know, you would think there would be just intuitively when you think about the procedure. Once the area is numb, a patient doesn't feel any discomfort throughout the day. The hair is removed carefully and it's reimplanted with exquisite care. There's virtually no discomfort whatsoever during that part of the procedure. The following day or two, there may be a minor throbbing or headache, a sense of tension in the back of the head uh, for which uh, medication is provided. After you have the procedure, you go through a healing and then the hair that they transplanted falls out. So you think, oh my God, it's, nothing's going to happen. And then after a little bit of time, all of a sudden you start getting this little bit of, like a little mini crew cut. <laughs> it feels pretty amazing. Throughout the early couple of months, it was kind of like having chia head, you know. I'm like, look, I planted the seeds and now it's growing. And it was really exciting to watch it starting to grow. I get out of the shower, I brush my hair like that with my hands and I'm done. I go to my hairstylist, I've been with her for a while and she can't believe, she still can't believe that this is a, a you know, hair transplant surgery. This is a very unique niche of surgery and there are very few physicians that are qualified to perform this and they do it on a regular basis. It's not something one dabbles in and part-time procedure as a hair transplant doctor. This is a full-time uh, passion for me and I think it, my, my work shows that passion. My patients are satisfied. Mm -hmm.